Hey everyone, Emmanuel here from Fight Club. Just wanted to give you guys some tips on how to increase your systemic skills and some of the ways I do it. Just came to the club a little bit before class and was just messing around. I said, you know what, let me shoot some uh, video for everybody because it's a very common question how I grow my skills or how anybody grows their skills. And most athletes, you really, a lot of their training you don't see. Like their practices are quite quiet and quite uh, personal, I guess, the way they do them. I'll kind of show you some of the tips I use to kind of keep my skills and actually grow them and re-understand them and relearn them. And they're really simple ways, but I'll kind of share with you three of mine that I use. So one I'm sitting on right now, it's a ball, big one. These big Swiss balls. And most people have them, they're quite inexpensive and you might find them from here from time to time at a gym, but or you might have it at home. And what I love about this thing is that it can actually, uh, it starts to give you movements that you don't normally do uh, throughout your day. So as I'm sitting on it now, I'm just starting to kind of roll my hips and kind of my body's going to one side and then the other side. And it's really good for loosening up the back and really good for kind of getting the hips moving because so much of Sistema is movement based and staying relaxed. This kind of really helps you kind of relax and kind of move from, you know, one of the big key uh, points in our body, which is our, um, our hips. The hips are really stuck and a lot of times uh, people stretch them out but still the hips are not uh, that loose. So one of the ways I do is I just kind of move on a ball and I kind of, I don't try to stretch but as I move I kind of feel how like I go one way and now I can feel a group of muscles are tight and my main goal is to relax into that motion. I just do the for as long as it takes till I feel my hips kind of loose and when I kind of roll off on one side of the ball what will happen is one hip will be on the ball, like one part of my hip, and the other part will be off. And you'll actually feel it, much like your shoulder is kind of moving, you'll actually feel your hip sitting. And you want to stay there or kind of relax into that position, don't force it. And just kind of feel your low back, um, forward and backwards. And when all this feels good, you then kind of stand up and you start to move the ball with your feet. And Again, what I like about this, I'll try to show it in the video, that as I move my ankle, my knee moves and my hip moves as well. So it's really getting um, a nice three-dimensional move. When you look at this, uh, when you look at this um, little drill in closer detail, a lot of the fundamentals of kicking, pulling and pushing with your legs or sweeping with your legs or anything that you see in martial arts is there. All the movements are quite there from all different angles, back, front, side. So you can really activate the legs and get them working and it's a kind of a better way of stretching than just static stretching. So you kind of get the joints moving and limbered up and in the movement pattern that you'll be using in the martial arts, right? So it's really good. And then I further go towards like my stomach and I start to kind of get into the ribs or get into the chest and different parts of the body, right? Especially through the midsection. And again, I start to kind of move and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for tension. I'm looking for tense spots, spots that don't move as smooth as others. You can do it on your front, you can do it on your side, you can do it on the back, you can roll around as much as you like with the thing. But what's really nice about the ball is that it's a little unpredictable. As you relax, the ball starts to kind of move in maybe unpredictable ways. And that really adds a dimension of, I gotta relax, I gotta feel the mo movements. And it kind of, the way the ball moves on you, like the way you're kind of moving on it, it kind of warms up the skin so that it's more sensitive when, let's say people grab you or uh, you start to wrestle or something. You, you kind of like warm up the body with pressure. So the, the pressure and the weight of the ball, the weight of my body on the ball kind of starts to get my body ready for what I need to do when I'm training. And it's that it's sensitive, that it senses pressure, and that it's able to adapt to any movement that's placed on it. Um, and you can do this through the whole body, right? And then for your arms, the same idea. I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit towards the wall so you can see it here. And then on the wall, you can do the exact same thing where you bring the ball on the wall and the same thing you did on the ground, you're now doing on the wall. And the same thing you can do with your arms. So now my arms, now my hip caught that. Your arms start to become very, very sensitive. And if you look at these motions, they're very much like how you would strike. Now, it's not necessary to see that. It's not necessary to only think of um, 
punches or grabs because there's a wonderful health benefit to moving the arms like that, right? They start to become really loose. And what's nice is they're able to heal themselves if you've injured them, like most of us. Um, they're able to heal themselves and they're also able to um, start to find new motor patterns of thinking so that tomorrow when you're in an awkward position you can even think about punching or grabbing in this awkward position because the, the mind is really beautiful like that and I want everybody to kind of slowly see that the movements you make map your mind so if they're all aggressive they'll all be aggressive movements and your mind will be aggressive if you start to map um, variety of movements and uh, you don't think anything bad about them but you just think about moving and breathing and relaxing and finding new movements and things like that you'll also bring that over into the martial arts to be way more creative and way more elusive and way more um, unpredictable <laughs> to be honest with you um, so I hope this helps this is just one of the tips there's many I'm going to share with you a bunch but I don't just want to throw a thousand at you I want you guys to kind of kind of walk through something with me here where I can show you some tips about how I train myself and some of the mindset that I have as well as the physical part because the physical part I from what I see in system is a lot of people have it but the mindset is what's missing right like the you know it's much like I guess uh, kids not to call everybody kids but they get well educated but then the mindset is missing like you, you studied proper but then the mindset behind um, that learning is so important and hopefully I can make some connections for people I, I certainly don't have all the answers, but I can tell you how I've worked through it for myself and for the students at Fight Club and for the people I know around the world. So um, try getting a ball. Um, they come in different sizes, depending on your size, uh, small, medium, large, they're all really good. Um, play with them more. It's a wonderful way, you see in about five or 10 minutes, you can almost completely warm yourself up. And it's fabulous. Uh, and you'll see when you start to, uh, in the fighting aspects of it, you'll see. Um, give it six weeks and watch what happens. You'll be very elusive, you'll be very unpredictable, and you'll actually have a lot more fun because you didn't connect movements with something bad. You connected them with something good, so you didn't develop a bad psychology to the movements that you do. Um, a lot of movements that are aggressive develop an aggressive psychology. So you wanna make sure that you map your mind that is clean. So it's good for all things, not just uh, fighting, but it's good for the stairs you slip down <laughs> or the ice you slip on in the winter time or things like that. I hope that helps. Get yourself a big ball. That will uh, help your training a tremendous amount. I hope you like this training tip and look forward to more. Take care.